As a self-employed artist who works from home and is also a really big introvert, I don't usually venture out the house on a regular day-to-day -day basis. However, when I do go out, there are certain things that I like to bring along with me. Recently, I have been seeing a bunch of videos and people sharing the contents of their everyday carries, and I thought that it would be a really fun to share what I like to bring along with me on my outings as an artist and creative person. And so today, I like to do a what's in my bag artist edition. Here is my go-to bag. It is a black medium crescent bagu, and I've had her since February, and I actually got her as a birthday gift to myself. This is the first ever bag slash purse that I think I've ever owned, and I think it's because for a lot of my life, I never really cared for bags or purses, and I just felt like they weren't my thing, and that they were unnecessary or just too girly for me. I don't know why I had this notion that people would make fun of me for using one. But as I've gotten older and now that I'm in my late 20s, I've come to realize that I just don't care anymore. I think we spent way too much time worrying about what people think of us, so I've just accepted that we can't please everyone all the time. And it really feels so freeing to just do me and accept myself for who I am and get myself a purse or a bag if I want to. I love this bag and I feel that it very much matches my vibe and I just love that I can now easily carry all of my things with me. On the outside of my bag, I have a couple of decorative items, starting with this mini frog bag friend. It is a hand knitted frog and it fits perfectly on the strap. I absolutely adore this little guy and he's definitely the best companion for any adventure that we go on. I also have this boba pin, which is actually one of my own designs, and it's actually still available on my shop if you're interested in matching me. On the zipper, I've attached this cloud bag charm. This is actually a very recent addition, and I think it very much adds to the character of my bag. But sometimes I do like to switch it around with this sun bag charm. Either one I use though, they're both very cute and always welcomed. Now let's jump into what's actually in my bag. First thing that we have is my journal. I am a huge advocate for journals and journalings for so many reasons. I've been actually actively journaling for almost a decade now, and it is so helpful and beneficial to both my mental and emotional health. In my journals, I often write about my feelings. I write about what's making me happy, sad, excited, or whatever feeling that I'm experiencing in the moment. I write about my goals, my hopes, my dreams. I like to collect pieces and scraps of papers, wrappers, receipts, or what others might consider junk, but I like to keep it in my journal to remind me of what my days entailed. My journal is a safe place to let out whatever I need to, and I'm always encouraging everyone around me to pick it up because through journaling, I've been able to learn so much about myself while also healing myself from past traumas and hardships. So I like taking my journal with me in case I want to stick things in or write about whatever I'm experiencing. Next, I have one of my sketchbooks. I think many other artists can relate to having multiple sketchbooks at a single time. I think right now I have three sketchbooks, if I'm remembering correctly, that I'm working through, but they all have different purposes that make sense to me. This sketchbook right here is actually my smallest one, and I've had it since September, so we're coming up on the one year, but I'm not even halfway through. I'm probably closer to one third of the way. I just forgot that I had this sketchbook for so many months and I was cleaning up and reorganizing my studio when I rediscovered it. And since then, I have been carrying it around with me wherever I go to make sure that I fill it out with sketches and doodles. And the last paper book item that I have in here is actually my planner. Before this year, it had been so many years since I used a physical paper planner, so I wasn't sure how often I would actually use this one. But I've actually been 
using it quite regularly and I've been using it to log my hobbies, track my work hours, write out my daily tasks, and for daily doodles. I have been pretty good with my daily doodles for most of the first half of the year, but I did start to fall off a bit in June and haven't really gotten fully back into it. The past couple of months have been quite busy for me with my summer coloring book and other work items, but I do plan on going back and filling in the missed pages. Now moving on to tech items that I like to carry, the next thing that I have in my bag is obviously my phone which actually I use to record almost all of my content for social media. I am so big on keeping things simple and easy, and I like having tools that help me quickly and easily start recording with minimal resistance because sometimes when I'm in the creative zone and I'm making art, the last thing that I want to think about is having a big and complicated setup. So the newest addition to my setup, and actually the only thing that I need now for recording anywhere, is Moff's Invisible Tripod. As an artist, creating art is what I enjoy most across everything that I do within my small business. So when it comes to capturing those creative moments, I want it to be quick, simple, and easy. That is why I love using tools and equipment that literally take seconds to set up and use. The Moft Invisible Tripod is small, unobtrusive, and the most portable tripod to use and take with you anywhere you go. It's really as simple as snapping it onto my phone, hitting record, and start creating my art. It's also very versatile with the variety of angles they can provide, and it's definitely become my favorite tool in my content creation process. I also had the opportunity to try Moft Snap-on Phone Stand and Wallet, and I love that it's small and compact and how minimalistic it is. I do carry both in my bag because I do love both. So if you're looking to improve your content creation flow, I definitely recommend checking out Moft using the links in my description. So thank you to Moft for giving me the chance to try out these amazing accessories. Now let's see what else is in my bag. So I also like to carry my AirPods or really any pair of headphones. It's a habit that I've developed in college to always have some sort of headphones wherever I go. I love listening to music while I work or make art, and sometimes there's just a lot of noise that can be distracting or overwhelming, so having a pair of noise-canceling headphones is super handy and a necessary item to have in my bag. Now, this bag does have two inner zipper pockets, and this is everything that I have in those. It's mostly miscellaneous and loose items, but we have a pack of gum. You know, I'm not really particularly loyal to any specific brand, but a mint flavor will always do. I also have a, some hand sanitizer. This one is an aloe scented one, and I love the smell of it. I also love having a reusable bag with me in case I go shopping or need to carry extra things with me. And the last little thing that I have in the zipper pockets is a Kuwaiko pencil. It has a very thick lead that is really fun to use actually for really big, quick doodles. I really feel like a, like a little kid when I use it because it reminds me of those thick crayons that we used to see in kindergarten. Obviously though, this one is way more fancy and more costly, but it is still so fun to play around with. Now to finish off, the last items in my bag are my art making supplies. So first I have my Caran d'Ache Neocolor 2s. This tin is a 15 count, and I really love drawing with these. They are so smooth and buttery. Really, they are just a joy to use, and I'm trying to do more traditional art in my spare time, so I like to bring them around with me as well. And now the last thing that I have in here is my pencil case. In the front pocket, I have two fountain pens. These are both Twispy Eco fountain pens, and I use them for writing my journal or just to draw in my sketchbooks. In the inside of my pencil case, I have an array of writing utensils. I have a couple of ballpoint pens. One has a thicker point, and the other one is a more finer point. I also have my favorite brush pen. This is the Fudenosuke Hard Tip by Tombow. 
and I have recently found out that they also come in a variety of colors. I originally thought that they only had black. So now with that knowledge, I kinda really want the color set, but I'll try to be strong and wait a bit to see if I really need them. I also have these three Faber-Castell Pit Artist pens, and I have them in the primary colors, and I mainly use them in my planner to highlight certain things. These are just my favorite, you know, color palette, so I like having these with me. But speaking of highlighters, however, I do also have an actual highlighter. I've had this one for a very long time, and I'm actually surprised at how long it's lasted me. But to be fair, I don't actually highlight things very often. And the last writing utensil is my Blackwing pencil. My sister actually gifted me a set of these for my birthday, and it's officially become my favorite drawing and sketching pencil. It just feels so good to use, which is very strange and very new to me because I've exclusively used mechanical pencils since I think I was in middle school. But along with a pencil, you're also gonna need an eraser. So I have this retractable eraser, and I think this exact one is the same one that I've had since high school. Well, the case itself I've had since then. I've had to refill the eraser a few times since then. The remaining items in my pencil case are my mini cute little scissors and a six inch ruler. And that is everything that I like to carry with me as an artist. This bag fits so much and I feel so prepared wherever I go and there's extra room in case I want to pick anything else. And that's everything that I like to carry with me as an artist. This bag fits so much and I just feel so good and prepared for wherever I go. Thank you so much for stopping by and joining me for today's video. It means so much to me to have you here. And if you made it to the end of the video, please leave the baguette emoji in the comments to let me know that you enjoyed the video. Thanks again for watching and I hope that you have a creative rest of your day and week ahead of you. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!